Does anyone have the signed peace treaty? We can end the war today if we have that treaty. Monsieur, je ne comprends pas. Ich verstehe nicht, meine. Uh, Signore, non capisco. Oh, uh, no one understands me. If only someone could direct me to someone who understands my English, this war would be over. Now, don't tell Eric, but there's a simple solution to help us understand his language. So stay tuned to the end to see if we figure it out. In the meantime, we'll explain how to direct readers to the version of your site that's in their language. Now, stay with us. Uh, Signor, vuoi comprare questo dipinto? I like you, bye. So, Eric, if I'm serving an international audience, I may want to build versions of my site in different languages. But how can I be sure each visitor gets the version that's in their own language? Well, fortunately, Mark, search engines recognize the href lang tag, which tells them where the various language-specific versions of a web page are. If the search engine sees the users in France, or the queries in French, or if the user's interface is in French, then it will rank the French version of the site indicated by the site's hreflang tag first for that user. So a search engine like Google, if it knows the primary language of the visitor, can use the hreflang tag to know the location of the appropriate language page and make that the top ranking result for the user. Exactly. Except whether that works correctly is dependent on the search engine's crawl bots being able to correctly identify and index the alternate language versions of the page, and that depends on the site using the hreflang tag correctly. So what are some things webmasters should know about hreflang in order to make sure it's used correctly? Well, recently we got some confirmation on how Google uses hreflang from Google Webmaster Trends Analyst Gary Eish. Gary was the guest for one of our virtual keynote events with a focus on SEO tags. You can watch that event or read the transcript at the link on your screen now. But let me share a few insights Gary gave us on how Google treats hreflang tags. First, you can specify a language only in the tag or a language and a country, but you can't specify just a country. Second, the tags must be reciprocal. That is, if an English page has an hreflang tag pointing to an Italian page, the Italian page must also have an hreflang tag pointing to the English page. Otherwise, the Italian page will not be in the English pages link cluster. Okay, so what if a site has a lot of language versions? I mean, it seems like that would add a whole lot of code to every page, and that might slow down how the pages load. Well, Gary suggested a good solution for a site with a lot of language versions, which was to specify the hreflang links in the sitemap file, which will take care of it for the whole site and eliminate the necessity of putting the tags on every single page. Well, thanks for those tips. Now, Eric has created a video tutorial on how to implement the hreflang tag correctly as part of his Digital Marketing Classroom series. Check it out at the link on your screen now. Obviously, hreflang tags are just one element among hundreds that your site must get right so that Google can understand, properly index, and rank your site as it should be. If you want to be sure you're doing it right, maybe it's time to look at the expertise Stone Temple Consulting can provide. Talk with us at the link on the screen right now. And join us every Monday for another episode of Here's Why. Ugh, one of these delegates has the signed peace treaty that could end the Great War, but none of them understands what I'm asking for. It seems that there's no hope. Un momento, per favore. Righto, Governor, here's your bloody peace treaty. The world is saved!